the doctor began relationships with their companions in a great variety of ways. Some, like Adric, TV, State of Decay, Leela, TV, The Face of Evil, Terra, Comic, Official Secrets, and Zoe, TV, The Wheel in Space, stowed away on the TARDIS, fully aware it was a ship that could take them away from their home. Others, like Ian Chesterton, Barbara Wright, TV, An Unearthly Child, and Dodo Chaplet, TV, Bell of Doom, were taken away without their consent. They were also occasionally assigned assistance by those in nominal authority over him. During his exile on Earth, the Third Doctor's assistants were mostly supplied by the Brigadier. TV. Spearhead from space, Terror of the Ottens, in the case of unit soldiers, the Doctor worked with whomever the Brigadier happened to have on duty at the time of a crisis. This was how he first met Mike Yates. Pros, the Eye of the Giant, the Doctor's other, bosses, the Time Lords, Pros, World Game, Audio, Blood of the Daleks, and the White Guardian, TV, the Rebo's operation, also occasionally provided companions, invariably against the Doctor's wishes. Even the Daleks understood that he was commonly assisted by companions. For example, when the Daleks abducted the Eleventh Doctor for a mission regarding the Dalek Asylum, they also abducted his most recent companions, Amy Pond and Rory Williams, to assist him. TV, Asylum of the Daleks, much like the unit soldiers that worked with the Doctor as assistants under her father, Kate Stewart tended to help the Doctor on Earth when the situation brought them together. TV, The Power of Three, The Day of the Doctor, The Magician's Apprentice, The Zygon Invasion, The Zygon Inversion, The Vanquishers. However, while helping to stop the Master's Dalek plan, Kate briefly traveled in and even piloted the TARDIS, although it was made clear that this was the first time she had ever stepped foot inside. Kate's constant help of the Doctor and her brief travel in the TARDIS appeared to grant her the status of companion as she was later invited by Graham O'Brien to a support group meeting of the Doctor's former companions. TV, The Power of the Doctor. All that said, the most common way of initiating TARDIS travel was to be invited by the Doctor. Although with some cases there was, from their perspective, a significant gap of time between first meeting of the Doctor and getting to travel with him, Donna Noble, TV, The Runaway Bride, Partners in Crime, Amy Pond, TV, The Eleventh Hour, and Rory Williams, TV, The Eleventh Hour, The Vampires of Venice, were companions who began traveling at the Doctor's request a significant amount of time after they first met. In most cases there was little to no time gap between meeting the Doctor and getting to travel with them. Clara Oswald, TV, The Bells of St. John, Martha Jones, TV, Smith & Jones, Rose Tyler, TV, Rose, Jack Harkness, TV, the Doctor Dantes, is TV, Dragonfire, Visler Turla, TV, Modern Undead, Ah uh, Sinclair, Comic, Endgame, Charlie Pollard, Audio, Storm Warning, Arnold, Comic, Children of the Evil, Jamie McCrimmon, TV, The Highlanders, Victoria Waterfield, TV, The Evil of the Daleks, Vicky, Tuv, District Measures, Another Zot, Dichender, Faster, this, this, this. Mickey Smith became a companion by asking the Doctor if he could travel with him rather than the other way around. TV, school reunion. Other companions, forced, their way into the TARDIS. Leela, despite the fourth doctor's protests, ran into the TARDIS and, before he could shoo her out, fiddled with the controls, causing it to dematerialize. TV, the face of evil. Rarely, the doctor invited people to travel with them, like Linda Moss, TV, the parting of the ways, Astrid Peth, TV, voyage of the damned, and Rita, TV, The God Complex, only to have their death prevent their travels. The same thing happened with Clara Oswin Oswald, although the doctor found out that there was another version of her somewhere in time and space and set out to find her. TV, The Snowman, 